when a student goes to college for four years, they don't have a home or a family. And what, what they also don't have is a higher education in Judaism. And by creating the Chabad house, you create both of those things in one institution. It's a family. And families have Shabbat dinner, and Vorlea makes sure that happens. Wow! College students who could be partying, doing crazy things, are all coming to spend like a family dinner together celebrating Shabbat. She's like a mother, but more of a friend. She's so young and full of spirit, and she opens her house. She cooks all week just for us to come there on Shabbat and have a delicious meal. The highlight of the week for all Jewish students who come to Chabad is Shabbat dinner. This is my favorite part. I... Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> this one, I'm, I, what I do is, to make, for Friday night, I make two big, big kalas to put by the rabbi's place, just so it looks nice, you know? So I'm gonna divide it in half. The kitchen is part of the atmosphere of Chabad, the Jewish kitchen, seeing the two ovens, two sinks, kosher food, cooking for a Shabbat dinner, speaking to a rabbitson, playing with the kids, it's all part of the family atmosphere in the Chabad house. Whoever doesn't like gefilte fish, I always say just try one piece of this type of gefilte fish and they're so... This is the best gefilte fish I've ever had. When I never ate gefilte fish growing up, I couldn't stand the mushiness of it. And then I said, hey, what if I just take off the wrapper and bake it a little so that it gets less dry. Yeah. Then some, I'm gonna pour a little tomato sauce and parsley over some of that. Ooh. And the tomato sauce I think was my husband's idea though. Devorilea definitely keeps this place in shape and she makes it what it is. I mean, more students come to hang out with Devorilea and be at her Shabbos table than they come to be at my Shabbos table. Friday night, the door opens, everyone starts piling in, everyone's so excited, it's fun. And it's always a crew, Dvorlea, when are you cooking? Dvorlea, what time can I come over? Can I cook with you? Friday night in the kitchen, it's a, you know, it's a whole competition who can get into the kitchen and hang out with Dvorlea while they're do in between courses, and it's part of the action of Chabad. Whatever it takes to give students a beautiful Jewish atmosphere, an oasis of Judaism to hang out in and to take part of while they're on campus, that's what you do. When your brother walks in, you give him a big hug. And so when a student walks in, you give him a big hug. It's just amazing what, what we're experiencing here and how successful and vast this family has grown to be, this Chabad family at UCSC.